Friends, it is impossible to become a hacker in one day or one night, for this you need a long time period. Learning hacking requires dedication and willingness. For this it is very important to know some topics like operating system and its working, computer network programming, and what skills are needed to become a hacker and it is very important to know how many types of hackers are there. So let's know, but before proceeding in the video, if you are new to this channel, then definitely subscribe to the channel. Hacking has been a huge part of computing for the past several years. It is a very broad discipline, which covers a wide range of topics. If we first find out when hacking happened, then we will know that it was first used in MIT in the year 1960 and at the same time this name hacker was born, which gradually became very famous. If we talk about technically hacking process, then its main task is to find a possible entry point in any computer network or computer system and finally enter it. Hacking usually involves gaining unauthorized access to a computer system or computer network. Its purpose is either to spoil the system, or to steal the sensitive information present in the system. Black hat hackers are those who enter your computer or mobile without any permission and steal your personal data. There are many things like corporate data, fund transaction details, ATM card details, which we keep in our computer or mobile, which these hackers steal. By taking wrong advantage of our helplessness, these hackers demand ransom from us. Black hat hackers are very bad and they harm others for their own benefit. White hat hackers are those people who work opposite to black hat hackers, that is, they check the security of the computer by taking permission from us. Or do this to help a company, how strong is the security of their system and whether that security can be easily broken or not. We also call white hat hackers as ethical hackers. Grey hat hackers are those who have no personal intention to do anything with the data of others computer or spoil their system. They do not even need money in return for them. But still without permission try to hack the computer of others by using their skills. They do this just to learn how to hack. So their motive is not bad. That's why he is not a black hat hacker. And he tried to hack the computer without permission. So he is not even a white hat hacker. We call such hackers as grey hat hackers. If you like this video then like and share, subscribe our channel for more such amazing informative videos.